open up. You open up. Hit you on baby M. Hi, my name is Steve Phillips and I work at Rebuilders Automotive Supply as a recall airbag specialist. And my guest today is Paul Diadamo, who is the recall guy. And he writes an article every month with Katie Stark. And uh, I just wanted to uh, ask him a few questions about that. And uh, so just say hi, Paul. Hey guys, how are you? Been a while since I've seen you. I'll be back on the road starting in January. So, uh, Paul, uh, you know it's great that you you know you can earn revenue for deployed airbags now. Um, is the YAP only good for this type of uh, re uh, or type of recall airbag? Okay, so number one, we call it the YAP because it's the Yard Airbag app, and by the way, it is available on Apple and Android. So. It's not just for deployed airbags. You can literally use the app for the airbags that you're gonna remove as well as the deployed airbags. The difference usually is in what kind of uh, operation at your recycling yard that you use. Huh, okay, and um, how does a new uh, auto salvage yard get started selling recall airbags for the first time? Well, if you're new to the airbag program, we really recommend that you call in to our recall specialists because we want to make sure that A, you're in our system properly, and then B, we can kind of figure out what would be the best tools for you to use because we have our desktop software and then we have the mobile app and it might be a combination of the two. So really calling into the office at 877-829-1553. Uh, you're always gonna have an account manager to work with you. So that's a great thing we have at RADS, there's a lot of people to support the recyclers. Excellent. Uh, well, now, what if you don't have a smartphone, tablet, notebook, or iPad, can you still sell recall airbags? Okay, you can still sell recalled airbags. The only difference is you can't do the deployed. If you're gonna do the deployed airbags, you need picture evidence, is what we call it, which means pictures, and we don't mean pictures that you take and then you send to us. No, no. The pictures are actually part of the app. So as you're doing the app, when you're taking the pictures, not only do the pictures get uploaded to the cloud server for Raz, but they're being geotagged to your location. So again, if you're going to do deployed airbags, you absolutely must use the mobile app. But if you're just going to be removing airbags from your vehicles on your property, you don't need the mobile app. What, what's the advantages of selling to RAS instead of to the OEMs? Well, actually, I get that question. There is no other option. The automakers themselves have designed this program to be a single source. In other words, Rebuilders Automotive, RAS. Uh, we've been in the business since 1972. We have relationships with thousands of recyclers across the U.S. and Canada. So the automakers wanted a one-stop solution so that there wasn't any confusion in the marketplace. So any airbags that are harvested for bounty, okay, for the Takata recall must come through RAS using our software. Oh, okay, that's okay, that's good. And why does, uh, or why does full service dismantling operations have the most to gain from, deplo from the deployed recall airbags? Okay, so that's really a good question because if you think about it, most of your self-serve recyclers get vehicles at end of life, okay? So their bags haven't been blown, but a full service, if you're buying cars from the auction and you're gonna bring them into your facility and inventory them and dismantle them, most of your cars from the auction have been in a wreck so in Iraq, they estimate that probably 60 to 70 percent of them will have at least one airbag deployed. I hate to say it, most of us drive with just one of us in the driver's seat and not the passenger. When we have an accident, only one goes off. And probably about 15 percent, both airbags will deploy. So really, for the full-serve um, dismantlers, that deployed really comes in as a great tool to bring in some additional bounty revenue, and literally for your inventory person, it's just a couple of clicks and pictures uh, when you first be inventory the vehicle. 
Okay, great. All right, well, thank you for coming in today and answering these questions for us here, Paul. And uh, everybody out there, have a nice day. Great day, guys. Take care.